how old were you, if you can remember, uh, and how did you first discover masturbation? I was probably 13 or 14. And what were the messages that you got or that you believed at the time about masturbation? If you wanted to severely belittle someone, you would tell other people that they masturbated. It was considered a behavior to be ridiculed. Why? I don't know why. But, <laughs> but there was, was definitely, <laughs> definitely something that was considered a shameful behavior. How frequent has it been, let's just say, over the past year? I would say that it's most frequent. I masturbate about three times a day. And the images that you look at, are there certain categories or types of things, places that you like to go? Um, what I am most attracted to are uh, certain shapes and curves to a woman's body that are the biggest triggers. Really thin, really curvaceous, large uh, breasts. Curvaceous breasts. Um, Is it hard to talk about yes, the breasts? It's extraordinary. It, it... Tell me what's going on. Is it about the shame? Is it that it feels too intrusive? Is it that it's embarrassing? Is it that you just feel perverted even doing this? All, all, all of those things. Yeah. Okay. What is it that, that feels the most upsetting to you? Is it that um, this is something that you've been so ashamed of and didn't ever want to see the light of day? Or is it, what is it? I don't feel in control right now. Of the pornography use? Yes. I mean, it feels like somebody else is driving. You're in the passenger seat. You know where you're going. You don't want to go there, but somebody else is driving. Tell me about this shame that you're feeling right now. Is that, what, is that what's going on? I can, yes. What is the shame about? When I was really young, there was a, a party, and there was a, a girl from the neighborhood there, and my friends held her down and, and made me touch her breast. And what was the girl doing? Was she screaming? Was she crying? She's crying. And did you do it? Yeah. And you touched it. And what was the reaction when you did? I remember being disturbed that she was crying. Mm -hmm. And how long did you touch them for? Very briefly. And what happened after you touched them? And I ran away. You ran away, so you yeah. don't know what happened after that? Right. Do you remember how old you were then? Probably 13 or 14. And as you think about it now, how do you feel? I feel really bad for the girl. I knew that that was just, it was, it was not right. Is there some guilt or shame around that on your part? I think that there's always been some guilt attached to it. Mm -hmm. And does Karen know? No. And so you sort of remember around 13, 14, starting to masturbate. Probably a similar age to the incident. Yeah. During periods of high stress, when you were feeling especially anxious and emotionally vulnerable, you would do it much more? Yes. Okay. Has there been other times when you didn't masturbate? Times when things are a little more even. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what I imagine, just the little bit of history I've heard, is that you got attached to the pornography, that it became a go-to place for mindless, unemotional release, I would definitely agree with that. That was always associated with shame. God forbid anyone find out about this. Yes, I would agree with that. I'm not good enough. This is a bad thing I'm doing, right? That this is, there's something wrong with me that I'm doing I would it, agree right? with that. 
Can that be an element of addiction? Yes. Do I think this is necessarily sexual addiction? Mm -hmm. No. I used the word addiction mm -hmm. because it was the only word that I knew that came even remotely close to a description. Yeah, because you couldn't stop and you felt shame around it. But what I think happened with you is that you got into that habit because there wasn't the ability in your mind to attach emotionally or interact emotionally and sexually with anyone else. Yeah. Do you want to change that? Do you want to release that guilt and shame? You betcha. There are all sorts of definitions about what a pornography addict is. In my opinion, it is a compulsion. It is something that's getting in the way of maintaining a healthy relationship or even sometimes to hold down a job. But it's something that's consistent and pervasive. It doesn't go away during periods when you're feeling like all is right in the world. It's something that has control of you all the time, which is the reason why I don't think that John is necessarily addicted to porn.